Hi everyone and welcome to Morning Devotions. I hope everybody's doing good this morning. Um, I need my glasses. Okay, can't do it without my glasses. Um, our prayer request, Karina's sister Laura got accepted into a great therapy hospital. They'll teach her to talk, write, speak, put on her clothes, shower, and eat. Teresa Woods is going to have, or she had uh, blood work and tests on her kidneys Thursday. Uh, Teresa, if you see this, could you give us an update on how things went? And Cheryl's daughter-in-law, his friend, has COVID and was put on a ventilator. She has three small children. Pray she'll be okay. And Cheryl, if you see this, give us an update on how she's doing. Colleen's uncle is slowly improving. And Rhonda Whitmer is having gallbladder surgery next week. Logan's friend Angel has an unspoken request. Camille's husband Phil uh, is in the last stages of cancer. Pray he'll get better. <laughs> Donna's daughter and family members are doing better now. Jennifer's dad is in a hospice battling cancer. Pray for him and all the family at this painful time. Uh, P. Bunny McKenzie was able to get a loan to fix the plumbing problem. Robin Dismuke is having frequent headaches. Pray they go away. And Maria V's sister Susan has several health issues. So let's pray for all them. All right. Our scripture of the day comes from Matthew 5, 38 to 48. Well, then, here it is. You have heard that it was said, eye for eye and tooth for tooth. But I tell you, do not resist an evil person. If anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to them the other cheek also. And if anyone wants to sue you and take your shirt, hand over your coat as well. If anyone forces you to go one mile, go with them two miles. Give to the one who asks you and do not turn away from the one who wants to borrow from you. Love, you have heard that it was said, love your neighbors and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your Father in heaven. He causes his Son to rise on the evil and the good and send rains to the righteous and the unrighteous. If you love those who love you, what reward will you get? Are you not even the tax collectors doing that? Are not even the tax collectors doing that? And if you greet only your own people what are you going what are you doing more than others do not even pagans do that be perfect therefore as your heavenly father is perfect okay our devotion today is entitled jesus's unpopular ideas for 15 years mike burden held hate-filled meetings in the memory a shop he ran in his small town but in 2012 when his wife began to question his involvement his heart softened he realized how wrong his racist views were and didn't want to be that person any longer the militant group retaliated by kicking his family out of the apartment they'd been renting from one of the members where did he turn for help surprisingly he went to a local black pastor with whom he'd clashed the pastor and his church provided housing and grocery for Mike's family for some time. When asked why he agreed to help, Pastor Kennedy explained, Jesus Christ did some very unpopular things. When it's time to help, 
You do what God wants you to do. Later, Mike spoke at Kennedy's church and apologized to the black community for his part in spreading hatred. I didn't drink my coffee. Jesus taught some unpopular ideas in the Sermon on the Mount. Give to the one who asks you, love your enemies, and pray for those who persecute you. That's the upside-down way of thinking God calls us to follow. Though it looks like weakness, it's actually acting out of God's strength. The one who teaches us is the one who gives us the pow power to live out this upside-down life in whatever way he asks of us. How are you living out Jesus' word, words of giving to those who ask and loving your enemies? What would you like to change? God, help me to love others as you love me. Show me how to do that today. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs and help anybody out there that's been affected by the virus. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this morning's devotions. Please press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. And share with somebody today, please. All right, everyone. I will be doing morning devotions in just a little bit. So stick around. And uh kind of looks like it's a dreary day. It looks like it's been raining out there. But it's not raining right at the very moment. So I don't know. I'll have to look at the weather report. All right, everybody. We'll see you in just a little bit. God bless.